we are your 2015 WIFR staff, and we're here to just talk all things WIFR today. Um, Stephanie, what was the thing that brought you to WIFR? Um, I had finished my first YA manuscript, and I was like, what do I do next? And so I did a quick Google search and found WIFR, and um, I immediately applied for Carol's boot camp class. Michelle, what about you? Um, I'd also finished a manuscript. Uh, it took me a while to find WIFR. I'd heard about this amazing conference, but I didn't know which one it was, and I couldn't find it, but luckily I had a friend, Mary Lynn Cutler, who um, she found it out for me. And by the time I found it, it was almost all the classes were gone, except for Emily Wing Smith. And um, she didn't read fantasy, but I thought, I'll give it a shot anyway. And so I came and I was really glad, made some great friends, and it really helped me get going. All right, Melanie, what about you? What brought you to Whiffer the first time? Carol. <laughs> <laughs> um, seriously, I had talked to her. I had known her for a while and had been to some of the conferences. And um, I knew what she had put into this. And she said, you really just need to come to Whiffer. And I knew that if I attended Whiffer, I would, I would be glad. And I've been so grateful that, to be part of it. Jessica, what about you? Uh, well, I was writing a book along with uh, one of my best friends. And um, she asked me one day, it's like, Are, have you gone to Whiffer before? And I said, no, what's that? She goes, you have to go to Whiffer. I'm like, but yeah, but no, you have to go to Whiffer. <laughs> it's like, drop what you're doing and sign up and you have to go to Whiffer. So I was like, oh, okay. And uh, yeah, and so I signed up for, for Carol's class and it was absolutely amazing and had a fantastic time. So now I like shake all of my friends and say, you have to go to Whiffer. <laughs> Don't we all, right? <laughs> Becca, what about you? Well, I had written two really, really awful books and, <laughs> and some short stories. And then Amy Finnegan told me about the uh, writing crews that you were there oh, yes. and that's when I met you and everybody kept saying yeah same thing you have to go to Whiffer you have to go to Whiffer and um, so that was the first year I went and it totally changed my writing hopefully it's not quite as awful as those first two books <laughs> <laughs> I've read it I don't think it is <laughs> well the thing that brought me to Whiffer was um, I was teaching school and a, one of the PTA moms came into my room, and her name was Becca Wilhite, and she's a published author here in Utah. And I had been scribbling with a magic marker on one of those legal yellow pads. I had a picture book manuscript, and typing it out was not working. And finally, this character, her voice was a turquoise marker. And so the whole manuscript was written in turquoise marker, and she looked up that, and she said, you're a writer, aren't you? And I said, yeah, trying to be. And she said, oh, well then, here's the thing that you have to do. And she told me about Whiffer. I went home that day, signed up, and ever since I've been coming. So, what about you? Um, I heard about writing and illustrating for young readers um, through a patient of mine. I was cleaning her teeth, and she <laughs> had actually had a book published. And she was telling me how great the writing conference was. And so the first year I took from Carol and Chris Crow, it was a joint um, class and it was for beginners. And I didn't know how bad of a writer I was until I went. And that first year, my learning curve was just huge. I, I learned so much and each year I continue to go. I think this will be my fifth year. I just, I feel like I get leaps and bounds ahead in my writing than I was before. My turn. Um, I took, when I was an undergrad student, I was actually in Carol's class, and that's where I started my first manuscript. And obviously, since Carol put together with her, I knew about it. I wasn't actually able to go until after I had graduated um, from BYU. Um, but I went, and I loved it. I loved hearing other people's perspectives, because I think sometimes I get really close to my own novel, and I can't always see past that to find what's not really working. Um, and so it was really great. It's a great opportunity for me to get outside perspectives because people are going to hopefully read my story. And so they will. Oh, I yes. want them to read <laughs> something that they'll like. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very likable. Oh, good. <laughs> Allison, what about you? So you um, I, I was already sold on the idea that I needed, you know, if I was going to write, I needed to know what I was doing. And so I had taken um, 
a correspondence course to learn how to write short stories. And that was, that was really good. And I had actually had a couple of short stories published. But, um, but I had this novel, you know. And I knew that, that I needed more knowledge. I needed to know what I was doing. And I looked, I think I looked, I remember looking at the, the, the Whiffer, you know, the flyer as it came out um, back when it was at BYU a couple, of, a couple of years before I finally said, okay, I'm just going to bite the bullet, pay this money, and do it. And um, I think maybe I had met you by that time, and that kind of encouraged me also to, to, to go ahead and do it. And then I went and found that it was so worth every cent that I had paid, you know, oh, yeah. and it was, and I, I still, it was an amazing, it was Lil Litke, oh, nice. um, still used stuff from that very first class that I, oh, that yeah. I took from I've, her. I've still got stuff from the first class yeah. I ever took that yeah. is still relevant. Yeah. I love it. That was great though, because you don't know what you don't know yeah. mm -hmm. until you know it. Yeah. Until right. you know no. that you don't know it. <laughs> yeah, so you come to a writing conference to figure out what you don't know about writing so you can actually improve your writing. Right. I like what you said about the learning curve and how mm -hmm. you learn so much every year. And I always feel like it's drinking from a fire hose because there's <laughs> so much information thrown at you, but you learn so much, you glean so much from it. So it's great for that.